In the spring of 2016, I was gripped by the words of Isaiah 61. It is a prophecy about how Jesus would come to bring good news to the spiritually poor, to bind up the brokenhearted, and to set the captive free. Jesus restores. And as I kept reading, I was struck by the words that describe God's people. It said, They will be planted as oaks of righteousness, that he may be glorified, and that broken cities may be restored. And with that passage in mind, we planted our lives in the city of Cincinnati. And what God has done since the summer of 2016 could only be attributed to His grace. From our little living room on Ward Street, to 20th Century Theater, to John P. Parker Elementary, and now 5825 Islington Avenue, God has been faithful to bring restoration in us and through us. Lives have been eternally changed. Former strangers have become a church family, and the fingerprints of God have been forever impressed upon the city we call home. Again and again, the story of the Oaks is steps of faith met with the kindness, faithfulness, and power of God. And I believe that the last three years of what God has done in and through our church is just the beginning. Now is one of those moments that I believe God is calling us to take a step of faith, believing that God's past faithfulness is the greatest indicator of his future faithfulness. So let's link arms and move forward to plant roots in this city. Oaks Church, let's pray boldly, live missionally, and sacrifice financially so that more people would experience restoration through the gospel in the city of Cincinnati and the world. The thing I like the most about the Oaks is how everything at the Oaks is based on the Bible from the way we do our sermon series to uh, the, what we sing and how we worship to baptisms to uh, membership. It, it's all just based in the Bible. What I love about the Oaks is that from the first time we walked in, it felt like family. We were so welcomed. We met 12 people that day and knew them by name. I really love the sermons. They are focused on the Bible and they also point us to Christ every week uh, to enjoy the gospel even more. One of the things I like the most about the Oaks is the family friendly atmosphere and uh, having my own grandchildren in the Little Oaks ministry has really shown me what they're being taught and that they're learning about Jesus and that it's going to make an impact on their lives. I first came to the Oaks when I moved to Clifton for college and I was looking for a new church to go to. And my roommates, uh, Paige and Christina, brought me to the Oaks and I kind of just fell in love with it. I really liked the community. Um, I feel like there were so many people that came up to say hi to me and just ask my name and what I was about. And I just felt very welcomed there, so I didn't really feel the need to keep searching for a church, and I just kept going to the Oaks. So since we've been coming to the Oaks, I would say that our marriage has become more stable, and we have been more intentional with one another. I have been able to just give him the benefit of the doubt and love him more um, and trust that God is growing him. The Oaks impacted, has impacted me spiritually because it was the first church I like chose to go to without my parents also pushing me to go. Um, and uh, it was, it, I immediately found a community of people my age and older who, who pushed me in my faith and challenged me and had good conversation and uh, were checking in on me, keeping me accountable, stuff like that, where uh, you're just not meant to do Christianity alone, and at the Oaks, you don't have to. They, they really, the community here is great, and uh, it helps deepen your relationship with uh, Christ through lots of ways. My faith and personal walk with the Lord has really been impacted by the preaching of um, Terry Lee and Jimmy and the way that they teach. Um, I've also enjoyed being able to serve alongside other members and getting to know them and working with them as we uh, do things for the community. There's a great heart for the community and it's a real blessing to see that they all want to work together on a mission for the Lord. 
I feel like since coming to the Oaks, I've learned to be more missional and look at serving in a different way. I feel like before my vision of serving was maybe like doing an event where I had to like exert myself a lot, but I feel like the Oaks is really good at um, seeing serving as just using your gifts and your time and your talents to um, bless others and uh, just help others to know the love of Christ. And so I feel like I've been enjoying uh, just growing in that and looking at serving in a different way. I view relationships with non-believers uh, more as a mission field now. It's uh, viewed as opportunities to share the gospel where before we came to the Oaks, it was just hang out and religion was off limits, where now I feel like I've been prepared and equipped to uh, talk through those hard conversations. I'm excited for the prospect of getting um, a new building because I feel like it would be awesome to just have a space that we could call our own, a space that we could um, invite people into and just sit down for Bible studies, a place where uh, kids could study, um, where schools could host Young Life, things like that. Uh, what excites me about the Roots Initiative is the possibility of getting a building and just growing into that as a church, um, being able to see the church come together and sac sacrificially give towards one uh, goal and just feeling that community strengthen even more. The Roots Initiative and the possibility of getting a building makes me really excited because John P. Parker and CTK have both been huge blessings to our church and uh, are a great place to meet on Sundays. but. When we want to do stuff throughout the week, it makes things more difficult. Set up and tear down every week is a bit of a process, and having our own building uh, where we could be missional throughout the week from that it is awesome, and I think a great way to serve the community and uh, our own church. Uh, what I'm most excited about the Roots Initiative is the opportunity to continue learning what it means to give sacrificially and be generous. I know. For us, it's something that we get excited about, even though it's kind of scary. Uh, but I also am excited about the opportunity to grow deeper in my faith and trust that God can do really big things. One of the things that excites me the most about the Roots Initiative is the opportunity to give to a campaign to have a permanent building and a permanent place to call the Oaks Church. Um, it will also enable us to give um, eternally to an investment for the mission of the Lord. And um, there's so much more joy in giving to something that is a permanent investment in the kingdom of heaven. Um, and we can all work together to sacrifice um, material things here so that we can have an eternal investment 